I was hired by Polar Pro to create a commercial that looks like this. All right, guys, I am back and I apologize for my hiatus. I've been crazy busy shooting a bunch of things for not only my course, but for my clients. And it's just been a nonstop roller coaster ride. I promise you a bunch of content is coming. So with that being said, one of my clients that I've been shooting for this last month was Polar Pro. Polar Pro is releasing their new circular quartz line stylistic filters that set off different moods and looks when using them. But before we dive in on how I shot this commercial, this video is sponsored by Artlist. Artlist is your one-stop shop for sourcing incredible licensed music online for your next project. I've been using Artlist long before I sponsored by them because no other company compares to the quality music that Artlist provides. And on top of that, it's a very affordable monthly price for unlimited music. If you're interested in joining Artlist, you can check out the link in my bio below where you can get two free months if you purchase through that link. Another thing I wanted to say right before I jump in, this background right here is actually inspired by Landon, by the way. Check out his Instagram. Not only is he an amazing photographer and filmmaker, he is crazy insane and aesthetic with his set design skills and if you look at his pictures in his studio this was inspired by that and i built this myself but off of what he did so this is his instagram check it out the first filter that we shot with is the mist filter mostly what i used this filter for was this dreamlike slow motion sequence that i shot in the eucalyptus trees up in the fog this just added a level of separation from my rider to the actual background itself. And it just made this beautiful, very eerie kind of look to the film. The next filter that we use is the Gold Morphic filter. This filter, when pointing light directly at it, creates these gold lens flares, as you can see here. The importance of each of these filters is it really sets a mood. This mood could be something that's gonna be more happy or tranquil, or that's gonna be a little bit more positive and upbeat than the other filters. The next filter that we shot with was the Blue Morphic. And as you can see here, the Blue Morphic gives off these really cool blue flares, similar to the Gold Morphic, but this is something that you're gonna use in more moody scenes. This filter is one of my favorite to use because it emulates a look that a lot of high-end blockbuster films use, like Super 8, Transformers and Star Trek, where you'll see these blue streaks from any of the light sources. Because we shot so much footage, I'm not gonna be able to break down every single scene that we shot and how we shot it, but what I'm gonna do is break down one of my favorite scenes that we shot using the Blue Morphic, where we were driving the truck at night and we pulled off onto a specific abandoned road and we set up for this really cool scene right here. And welcome. <laughs> this is Jack. You're good, you can talk. I don't think you can hear it. Okay, welcome. So we found an old abandoned fire road and this is perfect because now we're gonna be doing our spooky scenes because the blue anamorphic is gonna be suspense, surreal. You, have you ever seen Alan Wake? Or no, it's actually a game. Have you ever played Alan Wake? That's what I'm envisioning. We're gonna set up the car. The whole scene's gonna be car with the lights on. You know it's dead. And we're gonna put a Nanlite tube light in there to light it up. We're gonna get my 600 with the lantern as our moonlight. And then we're just gonna have somebody searching with a flashlight like they're like trying to find their way off the road. That's the plan. Let's start it. And then we're gonna put the blue anamorphic to get these cool, scary blue streaks. Boom, let's go. Pulling this around the whole trip and haven't used it. 
once, but it's all for this moment. This thing is heavy, and we're gonna take it and stick it right over there as our moon. And I'll tell you why in a second, once I lock her down. I start 600D, yeah. 600D and then there should be a cord and we're we'll gonna have to run it. So we're gonna set our light up very high and act as the moonlight. The 600D is perfect with a lantern. And the reason why I'm doing it here is because I wanna hide this, My I'm gonna be shooting from that way and we're gonna use this tree to hide the light. But when you're shooting dark things at nighttime, you don't want no light. The trick is you want enough so you're not losing the detail in those shadows and then you can adjust it in post. So it's a fine balance. Everybody thinks they're like, oh, we'll just use one light. No, you still, if you watch any movie, you'll notice they still have, even in their shadows, they have a subtle little bit of a light and that's usually the moon, which is never the moon, but you know what I'm saying. So confused. Let's run the time. Ooh. And let there be light. Boom. That is bright. Yeah. You don't even know you're... I'm, gonna be the I'm a bad the director. Ball. I'm a bad director. I, I haven't even given you your purpose. <laughs> yeah, a dance contest over there. <laughs> Sometimes dust is your best friend. Perfect. Just like that. So that's it for using the Blue Morphic night shoot. I think it looks really sick. I think we got some really awesome shots. It was a lot of fun. We had the 600D. I've been hauling that around just for the specific shoot out here in the woods to make it nice and creepy. We're using the Nanlite tubes just to light up, put a little bit of accent in the car, like red for danger. And then we're just really just using the car lights and the flashlight really to set the tone with the Blue Morphic because we have them shine straight in to the shot itself. I don't know why I'm doing that. All right, we're good guys. So that's it for their stylized filters. And one thing that's really important when using these filters, you can really step up your game and make these really unique looks using these filters, but you have to really think about what these filters convey, the moods that they're trying to convey, and then really shoot to set a scene that's gonna match to that filter. Just don't shoot with the filters for no specific reason. Don't just throw them on and be like, oh, that's gonna be perfect. Make sure that when you're shooting your scenes, like we did, that you're setting these moods. To shoot this video, this took a lot of pre-planning and preparation and a very extensive style board and then different scenes that we're breaking down because we wanted to make sure that we're gonna hit each filter specifically and the moods that they convey. So we built different scenes and we planned different shoots around these filters. The other filters that I shot for Polar Pro where their ND filters and their polarizers. And these are not stylistic filters, but these filters can make a huge difference and really step up the game of your filmmaking and photography. Polar Pro's ND filters are huge for allowing you to dial in your camera settings. So imagine without the ND filter, you're outside shooting on a bright sunny day. One of the issues that you're gonna run into is that you have too much light coming down the sensor. So the way that you adjust your exposure properly is you either are gonna be cranking up your shutter speed or cranking up your aperture. What the ND filter does is it essentially allows less light to hit the sensor and it makes your image darker so that you can readjust to have your perfect shutter speed, which is typically double of your frame rate, or you can lower your aperture. These ND filters, even though it seems like a simple thing, are huge in shooting properly and making your footage look pro. If you're on any big film production set, they are either adjusting lights perfectly or when they're outside and they're using the sun, they're using ND filters so that they can have their camera settings perfect to what they want. The next filter is one of my favorites and one that I've been using for so long and it's their polarizer. These polarizers are top of the line. I love using these. I've used them on my product videos for such a long time, but I even use them in the outdoors. And what a polarizer does is it allows you to control your highlights, especially on reflective surfaces. I love using the polarizer because I can bring so much color back into my image, like this shot right here. And these polarizers really allow you to control 
what's happening with your highlights in the image and really step up your game. Polar Pro is one of my favorite companies in the camera filmmaking industry because of their high quality of their products and their branding. And when they reached out to me, I was so stoked to be able to create a commercial for them. This is a dream come true. And I recommend checking out these filters. The link to the filters is in the bio below. And that's it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't checked out my product video course, the link to that is in the bio below. I promise you, you wanna check it out if you really wanna step up your product video game and be making commercials from home and making money from home like I do. All right, you guys, please comment below with your favorite filter in this shoot. And please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time,